Hello everyone, I am at the Hancock Agricultural Research Station right now uh, to cut our uh, potato seeds uh, to prepare for the upcoming 2020 growing season. Uh, because of this ongoing pandemic of COVID-19, we have to make a lot of changes in order to comply with the university um, policy, including some travel restrictions. Uh, for example, we have to travel one person per vehicle uh, for each field trip. So you can see we have uh, three people and uh, so three cars here today. So this is uh, my graduate student, Trevor Crosby. Uh, Trevor, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to uh, see each other's <laughs> face because uh, the other policy is to uh, you know wear face uh, coverings as much as we can uh, during this in-person interaction, including uh, some field trips. So um, this is a very special time and hopefully we will enjoy our research still. Thank you, I will go inside now. Okay, so now I am inside. Uh, these are our uh, seeds that needs to be cut today. Um, we have multiple varieties, including the russets, uh, yellows, reds, uh, and chipping potatoes. Um, you know, that's uh, the, the feature of the Wisconsin potato industry. We work with a lot of uh, different varieties here. Um, this is the seed cutter that we will use for uh, today's job. Uh, and my lab uh, manager, Mac Neighbor, is sanitizing uh, all the equipment in order to make sure um, our seeds are uh, particularly clean, uh, free of uh, pathogens for uh, the upcoming planting. Um, again, Mac is wearing a face covering to comply with the university policy. Uh, these are other uh, potato seeds for, from other uh, research programs that Amber Gotch, uh, the research specialist here at Hancock, is uh, moving around for uh, storage temporarily before uh, planting by each uh, research group. So the potatoes are dumped onto the conveyor. And Mac is dumping those uh, seed potatoes. And then they will go through this cutter the cut pieces after they go through the, the cutter. And then the cut pieces will be delivered uh, into the, the 40 pound crates, which then will be piled up onto the pallet and then stored under 55 for superization. So I am at the locker uh, now. That's under 55 uh, degrees of Fahrenheit um, and 95% uh, um, of humidity at least for the superization of those seeds after cutting. Um, and this is our pallet that we just cut. Um, and these are other uh, research researchers' seeds. So uh, the process I just showed you is uh, sort of mimicking the commercial practice, although everything is in a much smaller scale. Uh, if you go to the uh, commercial farms, then they are dealing with, uh, with uh, lots of lots of more uh, of seeds. But similar uh, process. So. 
this is today's video. We just finished cutting the seeds and uh, um, they will be there uh, under 55 um, and 95% humidity for at least a week. Uh, if not two weeks, um, that's the ideal period of time for the seed to be superized. Um, and then um, the, this, this um, periderm, the, the newly formed periderm on the surface will prevent the pathogens from entering into the seed and that keeps the seed healthy after they're planted. So um, this is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.